What's up guys? How to test a drive motor to a treadmill. So all drive motors have a wire that travel from it to the lower motor controller board. And that's actually this red and white wire down here. And you're gonna to wanna to disconnect that from the board. Please remember when returning the wires back into the board where it was originally placed, because if you place them wrong, you're gonna have problems with your treadmill. Now, what you'll need for this test is a 12 volt battery pack. You can get that from a power drill. This is actually an 18 volt. Please don't use an 18 volt. That might be a little bit too much power, but this is all we have so far, so we're gonna make do. And if you don't have that, you can buy a nine volt battery from the store. Make sure it's fully charged. Otherwise, it won't work. Next thing is you'll need two wires. These are actually wires we found from other treadmills and we snipped them a bit to get the wire ends out. Some people have used um, bread ties and I saw one other person use a paper clip. So those are other options. Maybe wear some gloves if you're really, really cautious. And if you're not confident with electrical work, please call somebody. <laughs> Let's get to it. All right, so we have the power drill battery right here next to the motor controller board. We disconnected the drive motor wires and we plugged in these green wires into the positive and negative leads of the power drill battery. And these ends are actually gonna get connected to the drive motor wires. And when you do that, what's gonna happen is this drive motor is gonna start spinning. It might spin backwards, which is okay. Just don't let it go on too long. I mean, all you really have to do is see that it spins for a little bit, and if it spins and moves the belt, then you know you have a good drive motor. It does not need replacing. So, with that in mind, also, wanna urge you guys, if, again, you're not confident with doing this test, please call a technician. Better to be safe than sorry. So now I'm going to plug the wires into the connectors and watch it move. There you go. So that's a good drive motor. And just so you can see, I'm gonna plug them into the opposite connectors. It was moving backwards that time. There we go, moving forward. And that's a simple test to see if your drive motor is good or not. If you guys found this video very helpful, very useful, please leave us a like and comment down below. That'll help push this video towards more people facing the same problems with their drive motors. So subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.